So that's kind of been uh, making me not want to ride. And the biggest thing is... Yep, have a great day. Here you go. It also has some stickers in there too. And I am Motor Core. You're good, man. You're bouncing good. Yeah, I try. I can't. <laughs> you really have to balance it. Like, oh yeah. I mean, you're swinging a 400, 500 pound bike. Yep. But that, that's still damn good. Fuck them cars. <laughs> So they think you're gonna go. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's that liquid right there? Is that brake fluid? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And then brake fluid for the rear brake. That was a good time. <laughs> I just got this 200 miles. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is pretty new. I had my uh, 2013 Ninja, I got rear ended by a pickup truck. Oh, yep. The same way my brother went down. That was the last ride his wife ever did. I had a car pull out in front of me, so I have a titanium rod in my leg, oh. and then I got rear-ended. <laughs> See you guys later. Yeah, you guys too. I love when you talk to like random people, but like that guy like was so good on balancing his bike. Like I, I always wanted to be good like that. I just never practice, and like when I pull up to red lights, I try to do it on the bike, but like. <laughs> it doesn't work out too well. It's like I need to I need to practice on my 250 first because that thing only weighs like I think that thing weighs like 200 pounds compared to this, which is 500 pounds. So it's a lot easier. And then I got my dad's bike, which is 700 pounds. <laughs> it just gets more difficult and difficult. <laughs> but I love riding. I love talking with people like that. Man, random people. Hey, just guys have a good day. You know that just, that literally just made my day. Like, I had to ride all the way out here to Ellicott City for a school bus because uh, the driver couldn't make it underneath one of the bridges. So I came out here. <laughs> I'm actually supposed to be headed to the airport. But luckily, it's 3 o'clock. I got till 3.30. My mom's going to pick me up and take me to the airport. <laughs> so I got half an hour to get home. You know, I'm pretty sure I could do it. But uh, <laughs> I was like, all right, guys, look, you know, this is going to be pushing it if you guys need me to go out there to do this, but I'll do it for you. Because, you know, I love my job. I always want to help out my job. So I did that for them. And sure enough, I get out there and the driver's already gone. But I was like, eh, it doesn't matter. You know, if the driver was still here, then it would have been a good thing. I came out and I should be able to get home in time. So I shouldn't have a problem. Well, while I'm going at it, guys, a lot of you have probably been wondering why I haven't been posting, where am I, what's been going on. So, to explain it all, well, as you guys know, I crashed my Ninja. Well, someone ran into me. I got uh, rear-ended on my Ninja, destroyed the whole back end, bike was totaled. So, I finally got this. I got my 2021 Ninja 1000, brand new. I am literally the only one to ever drive this bike. They didn't even drive it to like test drive it. I did. <laughs> they literally built it out of the box and started it up right in front of me. So I have literally witnessed this bike run its entire life. Because I've been the only one to start it. And I think that is so cool. So this is like my first new, new vehicle. I've never got like a perfectly new vehicle. So this is amazing. It makes me feel great. So, now that I have the Ninja back, I'm actually going to start riding again. But it's been freezing, it's been snowing, it's been raining. Everything possible here in Maryland weather. It's horrible. Look, you can still see snow on the side. So, that's kind of been uh, making me not want to ride. And the biggest thing is... So, me and my girlfriend broke up. You know, seven years broke up. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get into it, but it, was, it, it hurt. I'm not. So, I've been dealing with that and... This is like my first true, real, like deep heartbreak. And God, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> it's absolutely horrible. And I actually met someone else. And it, it's actually one of my exes. But 
we haven't dated in like 10, 11 years. And we dated back in high school. I was the bad guy. So like, I do all these nice things, all these good things. <laughs> I cheated on her so many times. And it was so bad. I feel so bad for doing it. But now, like, she, like, completely forgave me. I didn't, like, I just was going to talk to her, ask her how she's doing. Wasn't even thinking of actually talking to her because I never think she would. I figured she hated me still. And then, next thing you know, like, we got talking and I'm telling you, it was perfect, you know. She was saying things that I literally wanted to look for in a woman. And I didn't even have to say them. Like, she was saying these things. So it was like I was falling back in love. And then we already had that connection together. So the more we kept talking, the more I just kind of fell in love. And <laughs> so now I'm dating her again. Name is Allison. And <laughs> we're actually going on this trip together. She actually planned this trip for me. So this is awesome. Like... I haven't had a girl like plan a trip for me, even my past girlfriend, she just put stuff up, she just added me onto her parents trip, so she never planned anything, so like my girl now is doing this and we're not really dating at, at the moment, but I'm going to ask her out today while on the plane to where we're going. I think that'll be so cool and I think she'll like really like that. So. Uh, I can't I hope she says yes like I know she's gonna say yes, but you know, It still scares me a little bit just like you know the, <laughs> the like anticipation <laughs> But I'm I'm happy again, you know, I'm getting back up into into my zone back into the groove of everything and I'll be back posting in no time especially with the weather getting warm I'm riding my bike more often and now that I'm riding more often, I can start recording. Because like at first, I didn't even want to ride. I didn't want to do anything. But now I actually want to ride. So I'm actually slowly going to start recording again. And it's another acknowledge time. This one's going out to my wonderful girlfriend, Allison Klein. Uh, after making this video, we already went on our trip. And she said yes, everybody. So I'm so excited that she's my girlfriend. And I just want to say thank you for supporting me, getting me back into the state that I was in and just pushing me to be even better than I was before. You're amazing, baby, and I love you so much.